Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to the second video in the hotel management system using Django. In this video, we will go ahead and start setting up the Django admin and by the end of this video, you should have a fully functional customized Django admin. That is what we'll be doing in this video. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it and learn something new. Do make sure to drop a like on the video and consider subscribing as it really means the world to me. If you have any thoughts, any contribution on all recommendation, you can drop them in the comment section and I will highly appreciate that. Also, do make sure to check out the links in the description below. One of the courses there might help you become a better Django developer. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. first thing I will do is open up my code editor and if you followed along from the last tutorial you will know that this is where we stopped we installed all the third-party apps we installed all the custom apps and everything that we pretty much need to get our application up and running okay so the first thing that we need to do to go ahead and set up the Django admin is to install a package called Jasmine so the Jasmine package should be in should be actually installed in the or added in the requirements.txt all you need to do is go ahead and run pip install hyphen r or there's no need for the hyphen r this time around you could just type out pip install jasmine and hit enter on your keyboard to install the jasmine package that is if it's not already added in the requirements.txt so after doing this then you need to go ahead and install this app over here at the top of the Django country admin okay so just install an app called jasmine as simple as that and we should be done to make sure to add a comma so you don't get this bug that I actually talked to you guys about initially. Now, after adding this Jasmine, the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and configure the Jasmine related code. For the Jasmine related code, I have pasted this down here and I will include this for you guys maybe in a snippet or something that I will be leaving the link in the description below. All you need to do is go ahead and copy this code that I have over here. I will copy this and I will pretty much paste it down here. As simple as that and minimize my terminal so it's not too large and after we've done this we need to go through the jasmine settings that we have over here and fix some things the site header should be this fix the site brand should be this and the site logo should be whatever logo that you want to use the copyright message you can add whatever copyright message that you need then the welcome sign that is maybe when you're on the login page should be welcome to this fix then to say login now now the top menu links, this um, are some of the things that I'll be showing you guys when we actually create and migrate the, the admin. And also the other with respect to the hotel, these rooms, this is what I'll be showing you guys. Let's go ahead and look at what we have in our list. As you can see, it says install Django. It says add Jasmine to settings. We've done that. Configure Jasmine settings. Configure Jasmine UI tweaks. This is the UI tweaks over here. This one. All right and it says create super user let's go ahead and create a super user so we better understand everything that's going on if you don't have your terminal open you want to go ahead and open it up again if you don't know how to do that you want to come over to terminal and click on new terminal then i will go ahead and actually create a new super user by running pi manage.py create super user hit enter on my keyboard then as you can see it says no such table auth underscore user that is because we need to firstly migrate the database before actually trying to create a user or create editing in the database and to do that you just want to run py manage py migrate py manage py migrate there you go it's migrated our database successfully now let's create a super user you need to go ahead and enter the username so if we leave it blank by default it will take user but i want to add in destiny as the username email address i'm gonna add in destiny at gmail.com destiny at gmail.com and for the password i will add testing 321 then for the password confirmation i will also add testing 321 and hit enter there you go that successfully created the 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 super user now remember this error that we're getting over here that says you have 23 unapplied migrations we are getting this error pretty much because we haven't migrated our file yet after we migrate this we should not get this error again and to confirm that to you guys i will break out from the terminal and run the server again one more time and what do you notice we don't have this error again that's perfect let's now open up our admin page to open that up you want to come over to port 8000 admin okay 
But by default, port 8000 slash admin, if you're not logged in, should take you to the login page where you have to log in. Now, let's look at the Jasmine settings again. Site header is Desfix. That is why we can see Desfix over here. Site logo is this, but we don't have any logo yet because we haven't configured the static files or the settings or the templates for all that. So right now, we don't have any logo. It only shows the name Desfix with this logo icon over here. If you go ahead and comment out the site's logo, allow your, your server to reload again and we refresh this. There you go. As you can see, we don't have anything. It now automatically takes the default admin logo. But if you add in the logo, you will now see that. Let's wait for our server to reload. You will now see that it takes the destiny keyword again. That is perfect. Now we can go ahead and log in. Okay, it says, please enter the correct username and email. Remember that the username that we created was destiny the email was destiny at gmail.com and the password was testing 321 i will go ahead and log in now and okay it says please enter the correct username and password for a staff account maybe we are actually missing something let me reload this one more time and confirm the gmail again so i will copy the gmail from here and um paste it down here i think i know what's causing the issue what's causing the issue is we haven't actually told Django to use Gmails or emails to log in instead of username. Right now, it still uses only username. Look at the placeholder. Can you see that? That means we need to add in destiny. No at gmail.com and this should now what? work. Perfect. And as you can see, our Django admin is now taking this session or this look that looks very, very amazing. This is actually one of my favorites that I've given to you guys. And after we've done this, we can come over here. If you add up the logo that you want to use, it should show up over here. All right. You can go ahead and change this up. You can say, um, welcome to Desfix or add in your own hotel logo or motto or whatever you want to do over there. Then this is the top menu links, home company users. That's the things that we have over here, home company users. That is to define custom links that you want to show up over here right so put in the links put in the url that you want them to take to and that should be it and also this one over here pretty much tells us the user model that we want to use so when we click on this users it automatically knows the user model that we want to use but why is it showing this error that is because we don't have the model installed yet we don't have it um, actually mapped out or configured that's why we are getting this error let's get back one step and see what else we have over here Order with respect to, we will order the models with respect to the first one will be hotel. Then in the hotel model, it will start off by showing the hotel, the room, the booking, the detail, the guests. Then the next model that will be on the line over here will be user odds, then add on. It's as simple as that. Then you also can add icons. Remember, see these icons over here? That is the way we add the icons using Jasmine. Just call the name of the app call the name of the model and give whatever font or some icon you want and that should work. And something that I noticed is that with Jasmine, font awesome version five is only what works. So take note of that. And also you can show the UI builder if you want. The UI builder helps you customize um, how you want your admin panel to look. You want it to look like this or like this or any, any how you want. So if you don't want to show this, then change this to false. And for getting this same feel that we have, the, the purple, the color, the sidebar and all that, it all happened from the Jasmine UI tweaks. So I think that's pretty much it. We've actually set up our Django admin and everything looks great and it's working perfectly well. In the next video, I think we should go ahead and start configuring templates and static files. And hopefully you guys will enjoy that video. I hope you guys did learn something from this video and enjoyed it. Do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really means the world to me. Check out the links in the description below. One of the courses there might help you become a better Django developer. And until the next video, my love, peace out.